Well, welcome to Wednesday Wellness. I am here and back from my vacay. And thank you all 319 of you who have joined our page. Thank you. We're always live here. And when we are live, you can jump right on the conversation or in the conversation. Or you can simply call us at 661-503-8993. We want very much to be a part of your conversation, just as we want you to be part of our conversation. We are here. And we'd like to say thank you. I'm thankful for having a great vacation, getting some sightseeing done. Um, just a beautiful place. A lot of green. Uh, I like green. I live in uh, where it's deserty. In fact, a little green but not that much uh, good morning and welcome to vibe talk facing the lion podcast thank you so much uh, for joining us we are very happy to have you guys. So it is Wednesday Wellness, and I wanted to work on today what is our inner beauty. Isn't it hard for us to claim what is beautiful about us? Seeing your beautiful is our discussion seeing you are beautiful a lot of times we feel that what everything is beautiful someone else is beautiful other than ourselves so today is going to be our mirror talk our mirror that's going to be based upon this thought by inspiration. Good morning, Trish. Good morning. Good morning. Our wounds are often the opening into the best and most beautiful part of us. How do we think wounds can be beautiful? Because everything that we go through is the story of us. You guys thought I was going to give you the answer, huh? We give you food for thought, soul food for thought. And I'm ready to get back into gear with all of you today. Uh, can you hear me okay, Trish? Yes, I can. Yeah. When I was a little girl, there was a show that would come on, and it, it was entitled Rumper Room. Now, if you are 18... And through 25, you may not remember that show, but anybody past the age of 40 may remember it. Rumper Room. The class teacher for that show would look through a mirror. And she would mention names 
and it began somewhat like this. I see Bobby, I see Sean, I see Sarah, I see Ellen, I see Michelle, I see Ryan. Little did I know, I wanted to be on that Rumble Room show. Because she never said my name. And as a kid, you think like that. But now I ask you today, do you see yourself in your mirror? Because there are beautiful parts of us, no matter what anybody says. Now, before we start, our words can hurt people. I've used words that have hurt people. And if we can be honest enough to admit to ourselves that if we have done that, how much easier is it for you to see the beauty? in someone else. See, you're beautiful. You know, a lot of times when we look at the TV shows or celebrity lifestyle, quote, unquote, we say those are beautiful people. But what do we base it on? What do you think we base their beauty on? What would you say to that, Trish? And anybody else who's listening can add into the comments. I think we base their beauty off of what we see ourselves as, what we want to see ourselves as, but it's not us. So... I think that's what we base the beauty off of. And also standards of the media as well. Thought. How many of us have looked at people's outer beauty? I mean, we say beautiful people are easy on the eyes. That sounds harsh. Though it may be true. Because if you stand a beautiful man before me, I say, wow. And in fact, this week, I just said that about someone. Wow. Wow. He is so nice looking. Very nice looking. But really, really, what are you seeing? What are you really looking at? Because... Like I said before, the Rumper Room, and look it up on YouTube if you're familiar with Rumper Room. As I grew up, what, what was she really seeing as she called those names? Little did I find out that much later in life as I grew up and matured, all of those those people that she called out sent in letters to be named. So when we look at ourselves, what are you sending as part of your beautiful self? Do you see beauty in yourself? By the way, it's Wednesday. Wellness. And we wish you well to get well, be well, and stay well. That's what we wish for you. Has it been a challenge for you to find beauty in the core of yourself? Let's start with the core of ourselves. Because everyone can see what's on the outside, right? And so Sometimes 
we misinterpret the definition of beauty. Because if I were to go around the room, and you're welcome to do an exercise with me on what your version of beauty is. We're not going to start with anybody else because I can. And GQ magazine and these magazines that are distributed can name 10 most beautiful people. And they say they're the 10 most beautiful people of the world. But to me, when I think about 10 most beautiful people, that's according to their interpretation. Trish, I think you touched on that based upon what people see and correct me if I'm wrong. But today we're going to walk on us. Are you seeing your beautiful? You know, there have been people that have been born with, with no limbs. There have been people born blind, with no sight. There are people that have been born with no taste or smell. Do you find that beautiful? Or, or have you ever met one of those people? And as you sat down, you have been beautifully inspired. Because see, they have a story to tell. Have you said to yourself, that's beautiful? We're working on our wellness to be able to look through our mirrors. And by the way, that, that mirror was called a magic mirror. I want you today, if you have a mirror, and almost everyone has a mirror in their pocket, and in their purse, on their phone, I'd like for you to get your mirror out. Challenge yourself. Self because we face the mirror, you know. We are going to do an adult version of the magic mirror. Because see, you're the magic. And why do I say that? Because it's going to take you. And I want you to say your name. My, my name is Nisi. It's going to take Nisi. To be able to find her beauty. The other people remind us of what they see. Good, challenging, or ugly. They remind us. But what, what do you see as you peer into the mirror and say, your name. Have you done that yet? Peered into the mirror and said your name? Let's try it. And because today is Wednesday Wellness, we are working on wellness. So as we look into ourselves, we are peering into our mirror. And if you don't have a mirror, Here's a trick. Open up your camera and you can see yourself. If you want to do this experiment. Now we know that some of you may not be at a step where you are seeing yourself. I wanted to be part of that magic mirror when the teacher, rumper room teacher, called out my name not knowing that I had a mirror look at yourself I mean let's pause 
pause for a moment and give ourselves grace and respect. Look at yourself. Are you squinting? Or are you looking head on, challenging yourself? Now, what is the one beautiful thing that you know about yourself? And this is not being vain. A lot of people are vain. But can I tell you something? If I got them into a room, I can break down many walls. I'm going to leave that right there for you to think about in the soul of your mirror. Because what you're seeing about them is distorted many times. What do I mean by that? Because people are challenged to take a look, a deep look within. You know, you hear about the glamour. And I, I'm going to tell you, I love watching the things that they wear. I love watching the things that they wear. But to get them all glammed up, they got to do a lot of work. Makeup, hair, clothing. And have you noticed? They've always got somebody doing their makeup and hair. And I always say, why can't they do their own hair? Because I like doing my own hair and my own face, taking care of myself personally. I don't know how many of you got that, but I'm going to say that again, come closer. I, I like taking care of myself. I added that, my hair, my face, because you see, that means that I can see all is well with me. But people get paid thousands of dollars to do hair and makeup. And if you like that, there's nothing wrong with that. Because every day, you can find beauty within yourself. I'm not going to pass judgment, but I want this conversation that we are having today for you to think about the wounds. You know, we, we do good at cover up. And we hide, in essence, the beauty of ourselves as we cover up. You know, we can analytically look at makeup. Makeup is beautiful. If you are into makeup, there's a variety of color. There's shades that match your exact skin. But now, what are you covering up? We say blemishes. We don't like the. We don't like the. The flaws, and so we cover up. And as we cover up, what are we trying to do? We're establishing that we want to look what. Flawless. How many times have you looked at a magazine cover and you say, that's flawless. Many people have spent money on cosmetics to look like that flawless person. How many times have you seen that, Trish? A lot, especially on YouTube. I see people trying to remake the look and look like the person. They do it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So 
within them they are trying to cover up their flaw. Now we can look at flaws as our wounds. In life, we have wounds. You know, when you cover up your flaws, that's going to eventually fade the cover up. Everybody here, here understand what I'm saying. This is about wellness. And wellness is what we want to be. And so as we start looking at ourselves, we need to be assured that everyone has something beautiful. Why cover it up? We all have wounds. There's not one of us living that doesn't have some kind of emotional, physical, social, and the list goes on and on. But now we're talking about wounds. Wounds are the flaw, if you, if you will. You may not have caused that flaw or that wound. Maybe it was a result of something that happened to you or someone that happened to you. So what do you do? In makeup, up, makeup is used for various reasons, but people will hide their flaws. Why is that? Because they say, that's ugly. I don't like the way that looks. I don't want anybody to see me. And now they have challenged themselves. A lot of celebrities have challenged themselves to reveal their true beauty. No makeup. How many times have you seen that? that anyone Trisha you ever seen that yes I have yeah I found myself saying wow they look really good without all the exterior we must challenge ourselves to see our true beauty and so today our wellness is seeing your true beauty and as you think about that how many people have told you you are beautiful not because they wanted something from it but because you are beautiful how many times if a person has told you a second time they found beauty in the same spot that you would indeed think is a flaw. See, that wound or flaw makes you who you are. Now, there are similar wounds that people have, but always the story is different. It's very rare that if I got cut on the leg and I tell you, hey, you, you have a cut or a wound on the same spot, you're going to tell me a different story. Your version of what happened. It's very rare when you have the same cut or wound in the exact same place that I have. And if you do, there's always going to be someone that says, hey, I have a cut like that too. And you say, well, what happened? Their story is going to be different from yours. So, like with 
beauty and beautiful people. What's your inside like? You know, do we see the core of ourselves? The, the magic mirror that I told you guys about when I was a kid? Do we see our insides? Because that is what our mirrors are. Facing yourself. There are no perfect people. And I think that it's a very made up world when we see people that are actually really beautiful people that grace the covers of you name it magazine. Beautiful people we say. You see a lot of people are being challenged because they're going through what is our workshop. They're going through the same thing that you're going through. They have the same insecurities that you and I have right now. Insecurities of whatever. And that's why I've always said, not only if you are a pretty person on the outside, there's lots of good looking people, men and women. But your, your insights, they mean a lot. And I think that every person that is out there should do the beautiful test. Because what happens when cameras are off, lights are off, and you go home? Are you still confident of the beauty that graced you or people gracing you? Or can you remind yourself, I'm beautiful? no matter what the people say. By the way, that's our reel for today, so take a look at it if you get a chance. And we want to say a special thank you to all of you that are listening because they mean so much. Don't just turn away, but really read the inspirations. I feel that you guys have been doing that. Trish, how about you? Do you feel like that? Yes, I do feel like they're they're reading the inspirations. Yeah. And they're matching the songs. So we don't do an exact match. We're doing similar. Because you know what? We want the words of the lyrics to be beautiful to you. We don't just put that up just for the likeness. We want you to really get the meaning out of something. You see, in life, we have experienced beautiful things. I'll tell you, when I was away, I experienced beautiful things. I'm choosing not to let the ugly parts of life get me down. That's what I choose. But what's your choice? You know, is there something beautiful within yourself because everybody's stuck on what's beautiful on the outside what if you lived in a world where nobody cared nobody cares you spend hours beautifying yourself i know some people that won't even leave the house without makeup so what if all the makeup companies go on strike what would you do as you look into the mirror at yourself? What would you do? Would you never step outside? You know, people say, oh, I don't want anybody to see me. My hair is a mess. My face is a mess. I'm going to tell you something. There are days when we can be a mess. Who cares how you look? Do you accept yourself for what you really are? I'm going to have my good days and my bad days. And I can be inspired by beauty on any given day. How about you guys? I had the opportunity to go to a bot botanical 
gardens and I look at a flower, if you know me, you know that I like all of those things because they are reminders of our own beauty. And as I was taking a photo, I got really close to those state flowers in so many different colors. We walk away and we say, that's beautiful. By the way, how many of you have thought of one beautiful thing regarding yourself? We want to say thank you so much for joining us. Where are you listening in from? Just say thank you so much. You can find us on Facebook. We're always there. You can continue to follow us. On Instagram, and you are more than welcome to listen to our streams on YouTube. It's all there for you. Uh, oh, I like that. They're including what is beautiful about them. Love that. May I read it, please? We're going to read it if they allow us to. And thank you for listening. They're from Arkansas. Thank you so much. Is it okay to read? It says, I personally like the fact that I am nice. I like that. Is there one beautiful thing that you can say about yourself. Trish, are you there yet? Yes, I'm there. And, and what do you think about yourself? Thank you. Uh, our audience member from Arkansas, thank you for adding to our podcast. Go ahead, Trish. One beautiful thing that I I know about myself is I am a nurturing and caring person. I love that about me. Okay. Very nice. Thank you so much. So as you think about yourself, are you a beautiful person? You know, sometimes I can be really ugly. I'm I'm just going to reveal about me. And the reason why I do this is because you can see that your life coach is real. And I don't feel so beautiful with the words coming out of my mouth. But here's what I do know about me. My heart is good. I know, know that about me. And so I, I never leave that thought. I can say the most, most ugliest, hurtful things. And that's because parts of my wounds are still healing. And it can be triggered, especially when I think that people take advantage of me. Because there aren't many people left that will give you and open up their heart to you. And I think people should really grace that and learn to come to appreciate it. And that's what I like about me. My heart is pure. And I have a lot of people who really say that about me. But now I had to receive it. Sometimes we don't receive well the beauty about ourselves. Um, how are we looking at our mirror now? Are we looking at the flaws of us still, still trying to hide that? 
you see what I just did for you all is reveal something that was a wound for me. And it will continue to take time and effort. Why is that? Because we're all a piece of work. That is a work of art. We will eventually get there. And little progress is better than no progress. Beautiful things. Beautiful you. Claiming your own beauty. When do we look in the mirror and we see the true beauty of ourselves? And I'm not talking talking about being vain because we see that enough in the world we see people who are very vain and you say oh there's nothing wrong with that no judgment there's nothing wrong with that but how do they define the beauty we're working on ourselves vibe talk is always working on ourselves even you know someone said something about me and they said, you know, with you, when you realize that you have done something not kind, you apologize. Let's talk about that for a minute. The beauty of an apology. How many times have you not said sorry to someone, but you meant to, but your challenge self decided that you didn't think that was cool to apologize. Has that ever happened to you? Yes, it has. What was your experience with that? I'm so ashamed to say it. <laughs> but, but, yeah, I was definitely overboard and I should have apologized. I really should have. But I didn't. I was being stubborn because I was focused on, well, I meant what I said at the moment. So if I go back and apologize, then that means I didn't mean what I said. And that means that I'm going back on my point of view. But it's not that. It wasn't that. I still didn't apologize. But when I see them, hopefully when I see them again, I will apologize. Yeah. And you know what's so beautiful about that? That you were able to acknowledge it. I could be sitting in my car or driving or just at home and thinking about what I've done for the day. And I say, you know, they see that was really ugly. So how is my beauty? You know what? When I think about an apology, when someone apologizes to me, it makes me feel good. It, it, it takes strength to apologize. Even if you feel that the people don't deserve an apology, because they can go out of their way to be so ugly, because people will always try to gaslight you, making you feel as if you're doing what's wrong. And some people will even say why do I need to apologize or this one gets me I'm sorry if you think I did something why can't it be I'm sorry that I've hurt you or caused a negative why can't it be that see how much simpler that is but it's so hard for us to do the beautiful thing. See, all of us can appreciate beauty. Like I was saying about the beautiful flowers I saw. Didn't realize I'm a nature kind of person. Because that's what I did. To relax my mind and have those beautiful moments. If you haven't had a beautiful moment, take the opportunity to create one. How many times have you created a beautiful moment? When was the last beautiful moment 
you had? Um, the last beautiful moment I had was when me and my siblings joined together and, and we made a Mother's Day song for my mom. So that was beautiful to me because we actually did some, some teamwork song together. Love Recognizing the beautiful things. Start a beautiful list. On that list, ten beautiful things about yourself. Because if I ask you for ten beautiful things about a rock star, a celebrity, somebody that you like, you would get that down with no problem. But today, I want you to challenge your well-being. What are some beautiful things about yourself? And it's going to feel uncomfortable at first. Good morning and welcome to Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast. Where are you listening in from? And we thank you all for being here. Thank you so much. So let's start challenge our, our let's start, excuse me, challenging our ourselves to create beauty within ourselves not waiting for other people you say miss nisi that's so easy or that's so hard but really you can take the most vain person in the world who thinks that they're all that in a bag of chips and they may be in their eyes but if you and, and this is because I've worked with so many people and I've talked so, to so many people. You'll find out what their wounds are. Insecurity is a big wound for a lot of people. They hide that flaw because to them, their insecurity is fear. Fear that they don't don't want people to see that. We've just revealed to you some of our wounds. There is a model. I don't know if you guys have seen her. I don't know her name. But I think she has beauty. Because she has a skin problem where some of her skin is dark and some of it's light. And you know the beauty about her? That she's bold. Many people say that's a flaw. I say it's something that she was born with. So why I let other people tell you how to act and how to be when she can get out there. She is a world-renowned model. Look her up. Okay. Skin disorder model. And she is a black model. Were you going to say something, Trish? Yeah, I was going to say, I know who you're talking about. I admire her. I love her. I love her. You know, because how many people are covering up? She has accepted her flaws. We see a butterfly with a torn wing. And you know what we think? How delicate. How beautiful. Just like these on the board that you all are looking at today. And if you want to see it, it will be in our reels for those who are streaming us. We know that you're streaming us. We see the demographics. Do you think that that's a beaut the butterfly is less, is less prettier 
less beautiful because it has a torn wing. You say, oh, yeah, got a torn wing. What makes him her more beautiful is that her flaws represent strength. Just like that, that model. Whether she was born with that condition or it happened, that's her strength. She's unafraid. There are others of us who like makeup because we like it and, and that's okay. But I want you to be okay with yourself when the makeup and the lights are off. Because in reality, life is not lights, camera, and action. And so we have to separate the reality from the make-believe. You know, good-looking people, maybe the love Loneliest people. Did you, did you hear the word maybe? Sometimes what looks good on the outside is not well on the inside. Sometimes, because I know you people that listen to this podcast. And so we, we want to be correct. We want to look through our magic mirrors and really think about why we're having this conversation this Wednesday wellness. So, so your wounds or your flaws, those are going to be the best parts of your beauty because people look at that and people say, wow, it's just like me. I was born with a birth defect and really it hasn't been a defect it has been an effect everybody got that it's been an effect for me because it has been that people have been affected or affected two different People have been affected by me being able to have this. See, you wouldn't have known unless you've been with me long, long enough. And I say that because sometimes we use our defects as insecure. There's nothing insecure. Because every, every day I live to inspire people. Every day, someone's going to be impacted because there are people with two legs, two arms. That may not or may think about this. Where is your beauty? Can you see it through your mirror? Let's start welling. Wednesday is the time when people actually come and we talk about our wellness. But before we can talk about our wellness, we need to talk about the effects that the wounds have had on us. People fear that. So I want you to write the word wound. We've got a lot to cover. I want you you to write the word wound. W O U N D S. And under those wounds, I want you to start thinking about if you had a day to speak on your wound, what would be the first thing that you would say? Wound. 
everybody's in the business of covering up the flaw or the wound. I want you to be able to say to your beautiful self that your wounds are there. Period. The wound is there. And the only way that you acknowledge that the wound is there by saying it to yourself in that mirror that you're looking into. My wound is there. If you don't acknowledge that it's there, nobody's going to see it. We don't know what's under the makeup of people, but they do. And so they acknowledge it. And sometimes we self-care not properly. I'm not going to tell you the proper care, but I am going to say today is Wednesday Wellness, and we need to talk about the wounds in order to get to the best parts of ourselves. If someone told you you weren't good enough, if someone told you you never do, if someone says, I'm doing this to you because you're bad. If someone says this, that, and the other, I want you to find out the beautiful part of you. We're going to be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. We're going to come right back, right after this. about a vibe talk intervention one-on-one -on -one. cool then get right with us on our social media pages direct connect as well 661-503-8993 get connected to you and be the best you that you could possibly be we're back, and thank you for joining our conversation. We are live. In case you guys have been streaming, you can always leave a message. You can always text us on our YouTube channel. Thanks to Trish for putting up all of this in order to make our page known every day is real tell us how you feel tell us what's beautiful for you we need to access our wounds as we were speaking about because under those wounds are the revealing of your true person you know often Often times enough, we're not told our real strengths. If nobody's ever told you what your strengths are, I ask today that you be well on your way to find your strengths. Because all, all of us have them. When you start to accept the beautiful parts of yourself under all those wounds, and maybe there's one really big one that you haven't learned to face it yet. I want you today to challenge yourself to know that 
as my wound, and that part of me still needs to heal. You know, because some people are tricked into believing they're going to have miraculous healing. There is no such thing. I'd like to tell you that there is, but the only way that you heal it is by you doing the work. I tell that to all of my clients. You must do the work. And I'm so happy that many of you have been bold enough to really talk about your wound. I'm ecstatic that you are choosing the best parts of yourself to say, I'm bigger than that wound. Because sometimes wounds are really deep within. They're interwoven into parts of everything we say, everything we do. Kind of like written in stone. But we can become those beautiful butterflies that we all love. Don't you just love looking at butterflies, I never get tired of it. Today, I challenge you to get that to the most beautiful part of yourself. We are going to turn it over to Trisha's treasures. Trish, take it away. I have thought about a my past Past in when I was in school, I thought of like when my parents they wouldn't allow me to wear makeup or they wouldn't allow me to wear weave and things in school. And when I look back on it, I would I used to think, wow. Why can't I do that? Like, I see the other girls, and they look very nice. They look very beautiful when they do that. So why can't I do that? And when I look back at it, I'm starting to understand that there are different versions of being beautiful. There's not just There's not just one. There's not just one version of being beautiful there are different ways of beauty different aspects of being beautiful your beautiful isn't my beautiful and my beautiful may be different from what's beautiful to you but at the end of the day it's what you think of yourself as beautiful and when my parents when my parents had that rule for me i I'm actually grateful. I don't regret it because now that I'm older and I can do all those things, I don't because I have accepted the person that I am. And on my self-love journey, I'm grateful for that as well. That that was also instilled in me that just waking up to me because I have to live with me. and living with what makes me beautiful and living with how I become beautiful every day within because what's within shines out of us. So whatever makes you beautiful, find what makes you beautiful and embrace it. And your beauty can impact someone else. That's how it works and continue to do it because it radiates without you, but it starts with you. You have to accept your beauty before accepting a validation of your beauty, your beauty. Yeah, very powerful. So your wounds, do you cover them up where no one sees it? 
or do you heal your wounds? What's the take home? Everyone today that listens on this Wednesday wellness can take home something. And always, let's hear from you. Want to comment on our discussion? Uh, Trish, your beautiful thing is I love the way that you are creative. I love the way that you sing. And I love absolutely how when you do our YouTube page that you always include not the real only, but also the conversations that we've had. Go look for them, guys. We thank you for the positiveness. And our last question for today is, what did you learn and discover about yourself today? Let's start with me. What I learned is that you can take your beauty and all of your flaws and understand its purpose. What I acknowledge is that all of us have wounds, but that doesn't make us less beautiful. Find your beauty. And how did I feel about today? That this programming, this particular podcast on uh, See You're Beautiful, that's what it's called, can inspire someone. There's a lot of people with wounds. And I'm thankful for Vibe Talk. Chris, what about yourself? What did you discover about yourself and how did it make you feel? Or does it make you feel? I learned that um, my personal beauty and my personal well-being, that's my way of telling myself that I'm beautiful when I do my own hair, when I pick out my own outfit, because that's me telling myself, hey, this is what's going to make me feel beautiful today and this is what I see beautiful and that's me and I embrace that and my experience here today it was it was enlightening because I am one of those people that look in the magazines and I say wow that person is beautiful but I need to take one one or, or more looks at myself and say you know this part of you is beautiful as well. So that's how it made me feel today. Thank you. And we ask all of you the same questions. We want you not just to love us and like us, but we want you to know that your mirrors that you carry, they're always accessible to you if you really look at your beauty. Seeing you're beautiful. Thank you guys for joining us. We ask that you challenge yourself with today's workshop in learning to get well, be well, and stay well. Thank you guys for checking into Live Talk Facing the Lion podcast. Let us know how you feel about it. And if you want a one on one with us, or me, let us know. Thank you for, for joining. If you guys have missed this programming, uh, good morning as we uh, end our podcast this morning. If you've missed our podcast, it's always recorded. You can go straight to our Facebook page. Make sure you click like and you can hear, hear our podcast live. We're streaming everywhere. Thank you, uh, Trish, my amazing co-host. Thank you for your patience and for supporting me even when I was gone. 
Thank you. I'm back, and we look forward to joining you one more time this week, and we will see what challenges we have faced. Have a good day, everyone. Stay well.